Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. This is a little test, kind of an update to a video I did uh, about a week or so ago where I installed a DC to DC charger so I could use my truck's alternator to charge my my batteries in my rig. Um, I, so I can put 40 amps from the truck, but I just wanted to max out my charging capabilities. I'm going to use the truck. Hopefully we got enough solar here so I can max out the 30 amp controller. And then I'm going to use my generator and turn it on and use my converter charger and it should put around 50 amps. So we should get up somewhere about 120 amps or so into my Lion Energy batteries. And they can take them because they're a lithium type battery. Uh, they can actually, each one of these can be charged at 100 amps. But they, they uh, prefer the rated um, continuous amps they like is about 45 amps as far as the owner's manual goes. So it, they definitely have the capacity to take this. So here's my system here. That's my new DC to DC battery charger. It's a Renogy charger. Um, this is my IntelliPower charge converter. And I'll put it into manual override so that it'll put out its max amperage. And then this is my Bogart uh, solar controller. And just for everybody's information, I bought all of this myself. None of these are product sponsorships or anything like that. Other than the Lion batteries, they did give these to me for review and to, to test for them. Okay, let's go. Hopefully the sun will peek through these clouds so we can max that out. So I'm going to turn on the truck and the generator, and then we'll start making some measurements. We'll see through the different lines coming in how much power is going through and also measure it with my trimetric meter to see the, the total amperage coming in. Mostly because my clamp-on only goes to 100 amps. Okay, we'll have the solar on and the DC to DC charger out of the truck and I'm putting in 70 amps. So next I'm going to try turning on the generator, add it to it through the charge converter here. Okay, it looks like we're putting in 90.2 amps. We're also using some amperage in there, so probably putting in close to 100 amps right now into the battery bank. So a little lower than I thought. Let's just test what's coming in on the charge converter. We're getting 50 amps there, but the solar Solar, we got 30 amps. But the actual DC to DC charger has dropped to 16.7 amps, whereas it was at 40 amps. Just turn off the converter here. And you can see it drop, it came back up to 40 amps. So I guess what's happening is the chargers are kind of fighting each other. So I can't get a total max of their output, but I'm still getting around 100 amps if I'm using all three, which isn't too bad. I may be able to play with the voltage output of this and try to match everything a little better, but it really doesn't matter. It's just sort of a, I wanted to kind of do a test here to see exactly what I could max out at. Usually, I'm going to be running this because I have no solar at all. So maybe I'll try turning off the solar and see what we can get with these two at the same time. Thirty one amps out of that and 54 amps out of that. So that's still pretty good. If I wanted to run down the highway with the generator in the truck on and also my DC to DC charger, I could be putting 50 something amps out of that and about 32 amps out of that. So there you go, interesting little test. So the generator, I can pump in around 50 to 55 amps with that. Uh, the solar, I can get up to 31 amps through my charge controller. 
and the truck I can put up up to 40 amps in there so I should be able to get you know up to about 125 amps but in reality the max I could see was about 100 amps mostly because the charge converter and the truck's DC to DC charger were kind of fighting each other just probably if I maybe played around with their output voltages I may be able to get a bit more but this was just sort of a test just for my own fun and for your information so hope you found that uh, interesting till next time Ray from loveyourv.com cheers everyone just enjoying the day a big uh, storm came through last night we had thunder and lightning and hail we're just uh, parked near the Sierra Nevada mountains on a BLM land. And, whew, it was a pretty good storm last night, but it sure is beautiful today. It wetted down the desert. We have nice puffy clouds going on. So looking forward to the coming days as maybe it warms up a bit. Today we're having trouble getting up to 60 degrees.